Oh, hi. I'm just fiddling around with stuff, making it look like I'm doing something. It's what you do in an introduction, isn't it? I think, <laughs> anyway. Um, so, but I do actually have something to show you. Um, hot tip? Hot tip. Hard learned experience. Hot tip. From years of riding in inclement weather. Is that how you say it? What's anyway, inclement? bad weather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when it's rainy and so on. So anyway, have you seen one of these things before? What is that? It's a CO2 canister protector. Let's see it from the other. See? It's just like a bit, bit of rubber that's kind of formed yeah. around the CO2. Protects your hands when they get cold um, as you're inflating. Anyway, I'm not using it for that right now. <clears throat> this here is a really cheap lipstick battery. It's not actually a lipstick, but it's <laughs> a lipstick size. Not that I'd know. <laughs> um, <laughs> battery pack. And these are actually quite handy, which I won't go into for really geeky reasons. Well, I will, just quickly. Right? Okay, Dr. They Carson. Don't, they don't have a low power cutoff and mm -hmm. they support through charging because there's no smarts in them at all. So they're really good for charging a Garmin as an inline battery, a Garmin E-Trex, that is, as an inline battery from your Dynamo. Anyway, you don't want to get water into these things because they cost like $3 and no one has $3 to spare when, anymore. When you're doing what we're doing, that's like, that's like a week's worth of food. So what you do is you thread your cables through them like this. See, check this out. So I've got to put micro USB there and USB there. So micro USB goes from my dynamo into here. Well, wherever it is, the charging device, yeah. Um, but yeah, I need to protect these from rain. So I'll stick the cables in. Isn't it funny how there's three ways to stick in a USB cable? There's the first way, then there's the second way, then there's the back to the works. first way. Again. Yeah, I think it's the rule, the rule of rule. three. Yeah. Anyway. So, uh, again, this is going to be really clunky because I'm trying to do it on video. Mm -hmm. So you stick them in and then you just pull the sleeve over the top. And then you've got a nice bit of rain protection there. And what I normally do is I wrap it with some electrical tape as well. Mm -hmm. And that's perfectly sealed because I'm not going to take this off anymore. Yeah. I just strap these to the bars and that plugs into my Garmin. If you don't have a CO2 canister cover, you could use like a bit of... Bit of old tube or... Bit of old tube or just wrap the hell out of it in electrical yeah. tape. But anyway, I just thought that was a nice little solution. It's like a, sh it's like a um, shower cap <laughs> for your battery. So, like, so With potentially the if there's a cyclone on the coast and it's about to rain cats and dogs <laughs> for the next three days and we we may may not get very far in the wet. Yeah, Teeth, you're onto yeah. it. This is exactly why I'm starting to waterproof all my stuff because yeah. I've looked at the forecast and we're in for a flogging. <laughs> and we chose we chose to stay indoors on the nice day. Yeah. This so was we could our work. indoors night. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. So we yeah. got that. This wrong. isn't our tent. Don't don't get yeah. Don't get confused. <laughs> yeah. So one day a week we try to stay indoors so we can yeah. get some work done. Yeah. Um but yeah, we've used up that budget unfortunately, so we're <laughs> gonna have to sleep in a cyclone <laughs> in a tent. We might need the third pole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that was it seems pretty crap now that I think about it. <laughs> 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 it was just a handy tip, I thought. Yeah. Anyway, there we go. Uh, okay. Signing off. Bye. Back to fiddling and looking Smoke. busy. <laughs> Queensland outfit. This is the Queenslander <laughs> outfit. So for everyone in Melbourne who's freezing their tits off at the moment, check this out. Bathers <laughs> as a daily item. Oh. We don't have any clothes with us. No, we don't. Do. Yeah, I'm I'm completely nude. <laughs> All right. So, I forgot to say why you do something like this as well. Teeth's given me position permission to be a bit geekier. Okay, so you got this charging device. This is one from K Light. This kind of plugs into your little cables that join up to your Dynamo hub. Mm -hmm. So there's a little. Um, USB slot there. Yeah. So why wouldn't you just take one of these? Why wouldn't you just take your um, mini USB cable whoop, 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 like this and plug it into here? Do, 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 do. That's and then the actual noise it makes when you do that. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> and then plug it into your Garmin. Why wouldn't you do that? So just why wouldn't for, you do that? Just for people that use the E-Trex. So mm. many people either run it directly from the dyno mm -hmm. like or... this so that goes to the dyno this is your yeah. this is the charger turns yep. ac power into 
DC. Yeah. So you can charge stuff. Or some people like me, since forever, have used two AA batteries. Yeah. Which can be costly and yeah. very costly when you get into remote areas. Yeah. Or weighty when you've got to carry a whole bag of batteries on a ride. And it just seems like the wrong thing to do, to use yeah. all these batteries all the time. And we yeah. don't have money for batteries no. anymore because we're broke. Um, so what you can do is you can charge it straight from your dynamo. But if you do this via your charger, yeah. what happens is if you're going slow, like obviously Teeth doesn't have this problem because she never goes slow, but I always have this issue where you drop below a certain speed, the power cuts off. Yeah. And the great guys at Garmin, what they did was they put in this amazing feature where it's got this feature Shut where down. it's like lost external power shutting down in 30, 29, yeah. 20, 20, so it counts down and you have to intervene and press something to keep it on. Yeah. It doesn't just automatically flit o flick over to batteries inside the double A's, it just shuts down. How stupid is that? Yeah, annoying. So anyway, joke's on you, Mr. Garmin, because that's why <laughs> we bring in the lipstick, the lipstick um, battery, right? Yeah. And so, anyway, these batteries have been getting smarter and smarter over the years too. So what happens is, often they have this low power cutoff. And what happens is, if you get these fancy batteries, like, I don't know, these big fat chunky yeah, ones that are working out somewhere. What yes. happens is, oh yeah, like this, right? This charges my phone like 38 <laughs> times. It's, it's heavier than a car battery. Yeah, it actually I can't even weighs more it. than my battle cat. <laughs> Um, but like it's an expensive battery, but it's no good for charging this because what happens is this thing doesn't draw much power. Yeah. So that thing's just going to shut down. It just goes, oh, nothing's attached to me. I'm just going to turn off. And then again, you get the lost external power shutting down in 30, 29. And you go, ah! So, and often you don't see it because you're busy looking at the scenery or whatever. Yeah. So the thing is, some people get around that by cranking up the backlight on the Garmin to mm. draw more power. But yeah, I get I around it. That. Yeah, you can do that. I get around it by using a shit battery that's got no smarts built into it. So what this does is it allows two features that you need to make this all work. It allows through charging. So that by that I mean it charges while it's charging something. All right. Yeah. Um, some people say it's going to blow up if you do that sort of thing. Um, I haven't experienced that yet. So be ironic if that happens tomorrow. After <laughs> this. Explosion but, in the cyclone weather. So the idea is you've got your, your dynamo connected to this little thingo. You plug in a charging cable to charge this buffer battery, as you'd call it. And so now the, the dynamo will charge the buffer battery and then the buffer battery will charge the Garmin. So then I'll plug that into the Garmin. And you can leave that on permanently, can't you? Yeah, leave you it just, on permanently. You can set it up with a little waterproof cover yep. and strap it to your bike and as long as it's plugged in, you've yep. got constant source of charging and power. And so what happens is this thing here, that's enough to keep my Garmin running for a whole day. Yeah. And so what I'll, I'll do at night, obviously I'm going to be running a light, so I'm not going to be charging my Garmin. Yeah. So my Garmin will run off the battery during yeah. the night. So it's enough. And then during the day, I flick, flick my light off and then instantly my battery starts charging again, Maybe. powers it up. And you don't have to use all those pesky batteries. Yeah. So anyway, joke's on you, Mr. Garmin. We crack your and Mr. code. Du and Mr. Duracell. Yeah. And Mr. And Mr. Energizer. <laughs> We cracked your little code. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so that was a lot more geeky. Oh, this is this annoying this annoying message. I'll try to turn up the backlight. Uh, it's not letting me. Can you see that? Turning off in 23, blah, blah, blah. See? I don't know. You might not be able to see it. Yeah. No. You can? A little bit? Uh, anyway. There we go. Right there. So that counts down when it loses external power. You have to go in there and actually do something. Say, yeah. stay on. How stupid's that? Just flick over to the bloody batteries, god yeah, damn it. Three dollars yeah. from Kmart. So anyway. A hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny, sometimes these really simple, simple um, solutions, they've got no smarts built into them. Mm. So they allow through charging and they allow low power they've got no low power cut off, yeah. so they work well. Anyway. Looks like me and battery farm. So <laughs> that was that was the whole reason for, for using this little thing. Use yeah. less batteries, fewer batteries, yeah. and you know, seems to be the right thing to do. Thanks, Dr. Carson. No worries, Dr. Teeth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye now. Bye.